today we're gonna to be upgrading the speakers in the Cena Bluetooth headset in my motorcycle helmet. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Chib, Be Gone For Good. We do videos all about adventure motorcycling, from the bikes that we're on, the gear that we're using, trips that we're taking, tips, tricks, tutorials, anything under the sun when it comes to adventure motorcycling, you're gonna find it on this channel. If that's the sort of thing that interests you, definitely subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications anytime we update, and hit that thumbs up if you like this specific video. Also, if there's ever any questions or you have critiques or criticisms or whatever, leave a comment down there. I will try to get back to you as quickly as I can on it. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the new Cena speakers that are upgraded for the 50S, but can apply to a bunch of other Cena headsets that are out there to give you a little bit extra boost when it comes to the speaker systems. I know it's been a common complaint that the speakers aren't loud enough or you're just not getting enough bass or treble or just not enough room in those speakers to really to let them grow. Any of you who have been paying attention to the channel know that I just recently did a video kind of knocking my current Cena system at the 30k as it not being loud enough. I'm also dropping a bunch of sound and just had a bunch of issues. My hope is that everything sort of ties into this singular change. If I make this one little upgrade, which is relatively cheap, I wanna say it was like 35 bucks on Amazon, you can find the link below if you wanna get them for yourself to upgrade your current system. I'm hoping this takes care of all of my problems. If it does, it's gonna save me a whole heap of money because I was this close to making the change over to Cardo, going to the, uh, the current system that they have, which would probably run me somewhere between 250 and $290, and I really, don't want to pay that amount. The things that the Cardo system does well, and for even that matter, the things that the Cena system does well, primarily are not things that I need. I don't need the mesh system. I don't need to interact with 29 other riders. All of that stuff kind of doesn't mean a lot to me. I need to be able to connect with a few riders. I need to be able to listen to my music. I need to be able to talk on my phone, get my directions from my GPS, all pretty rudimentary stuff when it comes to the systems that I'm using. And if these speakers take care of my connection problems so that I can get that reliably, it'll be perfect. I've got about an hour to get them installed in my helmet before I've got to use it, so let's get to it and see if I can make this happen. First off, let's, let's see what's in the box. Oh, there's our speakers. No instructions, anything in there. Let's try not to destroy it as we're opening everything. Activation guide. Got a couple of extra pads to go in there if you don't have the Velcro already in your helmet, which I do, so I'm not gonna need these. They come Velcro backed already, so they'll stick directly to whatever pads you have inside your helmet. Uh, they feel heavy, they feel bigger. I can't remember exactly what the ones were. And apparently this plug works across a lot of the current Cena systems. Okay, first off it tells us that we need to update our current firmware on the headset. So I'm gonna take a look and see if I can get that done right now. So apparently I need the device manager to actually get this to work. So I'm gonna try going a couple different routes with this. Okay, uploading firmware now for the Cena. We'll get this all squared up. I've got 37 minutes. I suppose I should take the old stuff out. Okay. Little tiny screw. <laughs> Let's get that taken care of. Okay. 
Look at that. Don't forget that item. This off. Pop that out. And he's been in here a long time. Okay. Let's see what these new ones are going to look like. It's the same, they are the same size. I thought they were a little bit bigger, but they are not. back in. Everything looks good there. Go all back in. I do a little bit better job stuffing cords. About that in the future. Okay. Speakers are in. Okay, speakers were installed, firmware's been updated. I'm gonna turn it on now, see if we notice anything. Okay, both speakers are working. That's a good sign. It's better than it's been in the past. Hello. Obviously, this is not a real good circumstance for testing just because it's not nearly as loud as it would be in the, the motorcycle, but I'm gonna take a look and see if if how the music sounds in here. Okay, so far so good. I can hear out of there, it sounds clean, it sounds clear. I've got no disturbances from it. Everything sounds pretty good. Now, the question will be at speed. There was a setting in there which allowed you to boost the audio, but the minute that you turn it onto the HD speakers, which is what these are, and you do that little changeover, it takes that audio boost off. So I think that with the HD speakers, they won't let you pump up the volume any louder than it would normally be. But uh, this sounds pretty good. I'm actually really curious if this will work. Again, if anybody's watched this channel has seen over the last couple of weeks, me kind of complaining about my Cena system. This may be the game changer that, that writes everything, that puts me back in the, the right spot. So. I'm going to ride with this tonight. I'm going to record a podcast that you can catch over on the Patreon channel if you want to see it. And I will give you an update when I get done with that ride back on this video 
to see what I think. Hold on. Whoa, egg on my face. Turns out all I needed to do was get a firmware update for the headset itself, replace the speakers, and all of my issues with the Cena 30K are basically solved. Now, first off, the speakers. This is an addition that anybody who's got the 50S, they come standard on the 50S, but if you've got the 30K, the 20C, the 20S, whatever those other 20 models are, anything in that line, you can put these new speakers on. And I'll tell you, they're good. They're not great, but they're good. The sound quality, I don't know, is any better. It's definitely louder, which I'm super happy about. I can now listen to podcasts or audiobooks and be able to hear people at speed with the visor up. Same thing with the music. It used to be that if I didn't know the song, it's maybe a little bit difficult to track. You couldn't necessarily hear all the lyrics, but if you knew them, you'd obviously follow along. Now, you can listen to a brand new song, something you never heard before, and you'll be able to hear all the lyrics, you'll be able to hear all the sound that goes on. I'm so happy with a changeover on those speaker side. As far as the firmware update, Apparently this is taking care of my connection issues. I have no idea how that works. I have no idea why it was dropping out in the first place. It felt like something that was a miss between the headset and the, the port because every time you shook it or moved it around, it would change what you heard and didn't. But for some reason, maybe this is just a firmware issue. Now I took a long ride, well, not a super long ride. I took a 20 minute ride, 30 minute ride, and I had no issues. I moved my head back and forth. I used the jog wheel. I listened to music. I listened to audiobooks and podcasts. I made phone calls. I did went up and down, turned it on and off, did everything I needed to do to see if this system worked. And it seems to be flawless at this point. I am so happy about this. I'm so happy that I can keep my Cena system that I'm comfortable with, that I know, that I've paid for already, that I don't have to move over to the Cardo. Not that the Cardo is bad, I've heard great things, but I'm glad I don't have to learn a new system or attach a new headset or buy a new headset for that matter. A simple change in the firmware and a little bit of an update, just a $35 update on the speakers has put me exactly where I want to be as far as my headset's concerned. I am super, super psyched about this. So psyched, in fact, that I'm gonna go back to the previous video and I'm gonna make sure that I put an edit in there so that everybody knows, hey, this is the updated one. This is everything that you can do to fix these headsets. Cena, if you're watching, I apologize for the first video. I am so glad to be shooting this video, but I will offer you one small bit of advice. Knowing that it's this simple to make a change for what seems like a pretty common issue. I got tons of feedback from people on YouTube, on Facebook forums, on other forums and other areas for email about how a lot of people are dealing with this issue. And if a lot of people are dealing with this issue that can be solved with a simple firmware update, maybe getting that word out to them in some capacity with a press release, an advertisement, something. I will let you know I came dangerously close to dropping the Cena line altogether and moving over to Vicardo because I couldn't get this fixed. Now it's my own fault, I recognize that, but you almost lost a customer, which I think is probably not the type of business that you wanna be running. So. I'd argue that getting this word out there so that people know that the update on speakers makes their headsets so much better, an update on firmware can deal with any sort of connectivity issues, making sure that that word gets out to people will significantly help you guys maintain your customer base and essentially treat your old customers as well as you're treating your new ones. Another thing I found out, which I think can be a big help to a lot of us out there, is that Cena actually makes a docking station so that you can charge and get Wi-Fi updates for your system without having to worry about going online and checking out and downloading the different updates or knowing when they're available. It just, it takes care of it all on its own. Now it's a $60 system for this little docking station, but I think there's a possibility that that convenience is worth that little extra charge. I've left a link down below if you wanna take a look at it a little bit further. I've also left a link down below if you wanna take a look at the speakers. It's a $35 upgrade and it just brings your system right into the future along with you. It's exactly what you need if you need a little bit extra volume. There's probably a quality difference. I didn't notice anything significant, but the volume was enough to get me up to that spot. And then if I can get automatic firmware updates with this docking station, I'm pretty much set. I don't know if I'm gonna get the docking station just yet because I can't figure out if that $60 is worth basically the convenience of me not plugging in my system every now and again, but I think it might just be. If I do end up getting it, you'll get an update here. I'll do a review, tell you whether or not it's worth it, whether or not I'm getting anything out of it, how the updates work, how the whole system works, and, and whether or not it's something you should actually go after. But right now, 
just know that it's out there. Thank you very much for watching. This is Chad with Be Gone For Good. I'm so happy that my Cena system, like I was so down last week when I didn't think it was gonna work ever again and I was gonna do all this switching and changing and whatever. It works, everything's good. I've got a headset that does exactly what I need it to do and I'm super, super psyched about it. If this is the type of content you're interested in, everything adventure bike, definitely subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications anytime we upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments, leave that down in the comments. I'll try to get back to everybody. It takes me a little bit of time, but I appreciate every comment that's out there and I do read everything that's posted for me. Thank you again. I'll see you next week.